Cash recycling improves each step of the cash management process. This case study will illustrate how it works. This simulation will compare two self-checkout lanes. One processes cash with an accept dispense system, the other with the MEI BNR cash recycler. The MEI BNR streamlines operations in a convenience store when it replaces an accept dispense system. At the start of the day, the accept dispense system is loaded with $1,001 notes and $1,005 notes, totaling $6,000 of float. By contrast, the MEI BNR requires only $425 in its loader to start the day. Both lanes will process the same customer purchases. Before we begin, let's explain the screen layout. The graphs in the Accept Dispense system show the number of $1 and $5 notes in the dispensers. This graph shows how many notes accumulate in the Acceptor cash box. All payments are stored in this device. Cash is handled very differently in the MEI BNR lane. These graphs display the cash in each of the four recyclers. Cash inputted from previous customers can be utilized for future transactions. This graph shows notes in the BNR's cash box. Only high denomination notes and the overflow cash from the recyclers will be stored. Here, the quantity of notes in the loader is illustrated. The loader provides the BNR with startup float and supplements the recyclers. The transaction counter reports how many customers each lane processed. Customers are now making their purchases. At the Accept Dispense lane, each note submitted by a customer is stored in the cash box. All change is pulled from the $1 and $5 dispensers. Because every inputted note goes to the cash box, it quickly reaches capacity. The lane can no longer process transactions. A cash manager must now empty the cash box for purchases to continue. At the BNR lane, cash from previous transactions is stored for future use. This allows the lane to run longer between interventions. If the $1 recycler runs low on notes, it's automatically replenished by the loader without impacting the customers. Meanwhile, the Accept Dispense Lane cash box has reached capacity a second time. Another frustrated customer must wait while the cash manager exchanges the cash box, and that cash manager now has to carry $4,876 through the store. Shortly after the last intervention, the $1 dispenser is empty. Another customer waits while the cash manager reloads the $1 dispenser with additional notes. This is now the third intervention. At the BNR lane, customers pay with more $20 notes than are needed for change. These notes could provide the store and customer the secondary benefit of offering debit card cash back. The cash box at the acceptor is full yet again. This is now intervention number four. The cash manager exchanges cash boxes so the customer can complete the purchase. At the end of the day, each lane completed 1,381 transactions and processed over $10,000 of sales. To close the accept dispense lane, the cash manager collects the remaining notes from the $1 and $5 dispenser and then removes the acceptor cash box. The BNR process is simplified. Cash is automatically transferred to the cash box. Cash collection and counting is streamlined. The BNR equipped lane was much more efficient in handling the same purchases. It saved $5,750 in float at the start of the day. BNR handled all transactions without any need for the lane to shut down. By comparison, the accept dispense system required four interventions. At the end of the day, the cash manager handled $11,778 less cash and counted 5,176 fewer notes. These improvements reduce the time spent on cash processes, protect store assets, and provide better customer service.